What's up everyone? This is Draco of back here taking with some latest Manchester United news and latest result actually. It is the official Manchester United match review. It ended Manchester United 4 Chelsea nil. It was a fantastic day as you can see my voice is pretty much gone. I am in front of the famous stadium Old Trafford. Sorry guys, I've been trying to get a signal for ages but a lot of, a lot of obviously uh, people around and my signal's been poor. This man Rashford killed it. But anyway, um, as I predicted it's going to be 2 0, but it ended up becoming 4 0, which was double my expectation really. And we played some fantastic football today, I felt. Yes, the first 10 minutes we were rocky. I think Chelsea were more composed with the ball, but I think when we got the penalty, we really rocked it. In the first half, you can say the first 10 minutes Chelsea was dominant, including the last 10 minutes or so. They kept the ball well, they moved us around, they, they pressed us a lot. But in terms of uh, the score, it was uh, <laughs> we went in with the lead in, in half time, isn't it? The second half, I think we just blew them apart, especially the second and third goal that went in. It was so quick uh, in between each other. Well, not in between each other, apart, far apart from each other. <coughs> I can't even think. Um, Maguire, what a player, isn't it? Maguire, for me, was my man of the match. He won everything on the air. I don't think he um, won. Uh, I think I can recall only one loss he had, uh, but the rest of them, he won everything in the air. My hair's blowing everywhere actually. It's very windy and uh, hopefully it start, doesn't start raining for a long way to the hotel. Um, but Maguire for me was the man of the match. Um, he was fabulous, he was fantastic, I felt. Along with Juan Bissaka as well, I think uh, Lindelof, Juan Bissaka, Maguire was, uh, was phenomenal. For me, the defensive wise, uh, Luke Shaw probably looked the weakest. I think he still has that Jose Mourinho mentality in terms of does he go forward or not. There were so many times where he could have gone forward, but he didn't. He instead stepped back, so I'm not sure if that mentality will uh, stay. I'm sure he is uh, mature enough to know that he could have done a bit better. But overall, the defensive performance, we were very good. I think Chelsea surprised me a little bit with the pace up front with Abraham, Pedro, uh, especially Pedro. is for a 32 or 33-year-old. He was, he was really good uh, in terms of his pace. <clears throat> Uh, midfield, let's see, that's the talk of the season, isn't it? Midfield, Pogba, uh, he made two goals. He had a very, very good game, in my opinion, especially the second half. That goal to set up uh, Rashford was, was amazing, was phenomenal. I think, in terms of um, his control, he could have done a little bit better, in my opinion. He lost the ball a few times, lost silly, silly balls uh, a few times, and it, it could have been a, a lot better, in my opinion. But in terms of his overall performance, he's, he's showed no signs of... Uh, wanting to leave or th throwing a fit, you can say, but he was he was fabulous, I reckon. Pereira had a decent game as well. Didn't make that much of an impact. Lingard as well had a. Where's Lingard? Where's Lingard? There he is. There he is. He's behind me. He's uh, oh, that didn't sound right. But he's had a very good game as well, I reckon. But and Marshall had a fantastic game. One of the standard performance, and I'm so happy for 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 this guy, it's Daniel James. He had a big role when he came on. And uh, for him to get a goal, albeit he took a bit of a de deflection, I think it's going to be a start of a great, great journey for uh, Daniel James. Those couple of runs he made reminded me of uh, Ryan Giggs running down the wings, very direct, direct, very pacey, head down, then looking up at the right time as well. So it was a fantastic day overall. I think 4 0. Personally, for me, um, it was a bit, bit much. I think Chelsea didn't deserve to lose 4 0, but we'll take it. And all this talk about us needing a midfielder, all this talk about uh, you still need a midfielder, I, feel, I felt. Because uh, a few times when McTominay went down with an injury and Pogba went down with, with uh, Nick as well, uh, I got worried a little bit. Now you can see a lot of this guy, this guy, McTominay, he had a decent game as well. And I felt that that was um, moments where the crowd, you can see, they were a bit, you know bit of a gasp like oh my god he's injured because we have no backup um good cameos from uh, greenwood he didn't have much to do he came in for the last what five seven minutes or so but it's good to have an ex um, some experience in these guys uh, i am looking around constantly because it's my first live stream there's a lot of people looking at me and uh, kind of trying to stay composed but obviously if i do a lot more of these i reckon i'll get better at it but anyways guys um it's, it's, it was a quick drop on drop off quick review of the match review my man the match is Harry Maguire it is 4-0 we are uh, we've started started off fantastic and hopefully long may it continue and as always guys smash the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest Manchester United results transfer news match previews reviews stats analysis I'll get you, get you guys the stats and analysis video when I get to Manchester tomorrow when I get to London tomorrow 
and um, after work really I'll try to get something out uh, for you guys uh, and uh, take it from there guys and uh, as always guys stay fabulous take care